On today's episode of MI Triton, we're going to get under the vehicle, we're going to clean up underneath it, we're going to get rid of the grease and grime, we're going to get rid of the corrosion, I'll show you how we're going to do that, and we're going to show you how to prevent further corrosion. Let's get stuck into it. So first I'm going to start by giving you an overview of the products that we're going to use in today's video to get rid of the rust, clean up the grime, prevent any further rust, so on. So what I've got here is a heavy duty detergent for vehicles, full drives and, and trucks and that sort of stuff. Gets rid of all that really stubborn road grime and also cuts through the dirt in the chassis and that's what causes corrosion and rust to build up. So obviously we're gonna go through and clean up the vehicle. Once the vehicle's clean, what we have here is rust converter. If you haven't heard of rust converter, what it is, it's a, you can get it in the paint on with a paintbrush, or you can get it in a spray can format. Basically you apply it to a cleaned, rusty area following some sanding or a bit of wire brush to get rid of the flakiness. The rust converter will chemically convert the corrosion into an inert prime surface on which you can paint and prevent further rust. In the next step, we've got some spray on under body coating. So we're gonna spray this on top of the newly converted rust primed surface, and then we're gonna prevent further corrosion and reseal up the exposed metal with this product here. The following step, we're going to apply the full driver's best friend, lanolin. So lanolin is a oil or grease derived from sheep's wool. It is widely known and used throughout the full driving community. It's natural, it's safe to use. We're gonna spray some of this on to those newly painted areas and, and other areas. So the whole chassis, steering arms, the whole lot to hopefully prevent any further rust. The only downside with lanolin is it is sort of like a spray on grease so it can cause a bit of dirt and grit to build up on the chassis of your vehicle. So you won't necessarily have a showroom finish, but you also won't have a rusty vehicle. Always good to have a can of this. It comes in the spray can, it comes in a squirty bottle, and it also comes in large drums for your larger industrial purposes. And last but not least, in some of those more exposed areas, we have good old fashioned fish oil. Fish oil is a great product. It's a little bit stinky. Some people like the smell, some people don't. I don't mind it. So basically chuck it on those areas where you're gonna see a bit more of your body work and that sort of stuff. I'm gonna use this for my door seals. That's what it's really good for. It's got a bit of a smell, but it's got a more of a finish, less of a greasy finish, more of a slightly oily finish. So um, as opposed to having a big buildup of grit and sand and that sort of stuff, this should give a better finish for your doors and those areas that you're gonna see. So without any further talking, let's get stuck into the first step, which is cleaning up underneath the vehicle. Alrighty, step one, we've got a bucket of water, a bit of soap. We're gonna get underneath the rig, give it a good scrub down. seen we've gone under we've cleaned the dirt and grime from under the vehicle what we've got now is a surface that is nice and clean and ready to apply a bit of rust converter so we'll get under the vehicle get our mask on because this is quite fumy we'll paint it onto the rusty areas once it dries up we'll on to the next step hit it with a bunch of rust converter. I've sort of not really worried too much about the control arms and those sorts of things. Um, they're gonna be replaced when I do a suspension upgrade. What I've done, however, is I've done a bit of the rear diff, bit of the uh, prop shaft or drive shaft, and I've also focused on the chassis because the chassis is the part of the vehicle that you can't really replace. It's, you know, it's the vehicle, that's what your engine and your body and everything's attached to. 
So mostly rust converted the chassis, disposable parts, you know, drive shaft and that sort of stuff a little bit, um, bash plates a little bit, but didn't really bother too much. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and we're going to do a nice big thick coat of the underbody spray all over the chassis and diff just to make it look a bit nicer again, but um, mostly getting in those chassis areas where the corrosion has sort of started. The rust converter is working nicely. You see where it sort of starts to change the color of the corrosion that was once there um, to more of a plain primed surface. is we've gone underneath the vehicle used up our can of underbody rust coating uh, it looks pretty good it looks like a nice thick layer of a protective coating underneath it on the chassis so that's what we're going for nice protective layer based on how the chassis is looking with this stuff if i could have my time again buying a brand new triton off the lot i would go straight away and get about five cans of this and cover absolutely everything before it starts to corrode. Now we're going to use some lanolin. So this here, thick coating of wool grease goodness. What we're gonna do, spray it on around the areas that we don't want it to rust. I'm pretty much gonna cover the whole underside of the car in it. All of my chassis, all of my diff, my control arms, a whole shebang. I've got two cans of this to waste. So we'll squirt it all over, cover it up, and we'll see how things are looking in a couple of weeks time. Um, and I'll update you guys on that. Once we've done that, we're going to go through with a bit of fish oil, get around those door seals, stink the car out nicely like carfy fish, and uh, yeah, on to the next step. <laughs> as well with your lanolin keep it away from your brake rotors and calipers brakes need friction to stop your vehicle if you lubricate your brake setup you're not going to stop in time you're going to crash it's going to be very dangerous and the final additive here to prevent rust is our fish oil now what type of fish is it made of couldn't tell you but what i can tell you is that it bloody works tried and tested a little bit stinky unless you get the deodorized but um i'd rather the stinky real deal this is really good for those internal uh, interior cavities. So within your doors, you know, within your tailgate areas, within your bonnet, you don't want to get it on stuff that's going to get hot, but if you can chuck it in some of your door cavities and in your tailgate cavity, um, this actually gets a fair bit of water in here quite often whenever I hose this sort of stuff out. So those interior areas, that's where you want to put your fish oil. So don't forget, you know, get up in your, in your bonnet areas up in here. That's where the, where the leaves and dirt collects, that sort of stuff. Give the bonnet a bit of a squirt as well. Keep it off your DPF and your exhaust though. I've got a couple holes in my roof rack, so I'll go through and squirt them as well. And if you've got one of these little nozzles on the end, it makes it a lot better and easier to get into those little nooks and crannies. And there you have it guys, using just these basic products, I've added years into the life of my vehicle, you know, clean up after yourself, after you go off road, make sure you convert any rust into the primable surface, um, you know, give it a good paint with the underbody spray, um, you know, lanolin for your underbody as well, fish oil for your panels and that sort of stuff, and you won't get stuck with rust. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a subscription down below, and we'll see you in the next one.